Good morning, Sagittarius. Um, this is like literally, I hadn't even planned this, but I was sitting here thinking, you know, I've been online so much doing a bunch of work yesterday, so I kind of needed a little bit of a break. So I decided to do Sagittarius. I decided to do the Zodiac signs for your holiday season, no matter what your spirituality is or your religion. I'm doing this to just cover the holiday season, which for most people, common knowledge would be, you know, around Christmas time. All right, so this is for Sagittarius, and let's just see how your holiday is going to go. And then I don't know how many I'm going to get out today, but I'll definitely get them done before Christmas. All right. This first reading is for Sagittarius. The first card you got is the Wish card. Okay, I'm not sure where this is going yet. Let me make sure I'm up and going here. Make sure my sound is off. Um, I actually will be taking, um, for those who've been following me, I will be, I've got it to where I can go live on YouTube. So I'll post that link and I'm probably going to do some of these on YouTube. Like I said, I just got in here and I was like, oh, you know what? Let's do something fun. Okay, here we go. So the first card you got was the wish card, the nine of diamonds. Nine of Diamonds, I don't know if anybody knows about the Destiny cards. I used to read Destiny cards quite a bit. Um, but the Nine of Diamonds also is a personality card as well. It can be your planetary card. So I, it almost feels like a person. So um, I don't have my book in front of me. And it's one of those things. It's like palms. When I used to read palms, you have to read it. You have to study up on it. It's something that, you know, there's so much knowledge that you have to just keep reading on it. So um, there's a place called... Um, I got mine from Seven Thunders. But anyway, if you go on there, look up the meaning of, or it's cardamancy, for the Nine of Diamonds, okay? I almost feel this is a person around you during the holiday season. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. All right, so anyway, it represents, it's talking about uh, the wish card. The wish fulfilled may cont contain deceit and treachery. The answer to the wish lies and the spread. Okay, we haven't got to the spread, but here, I just wanted to read the card for you. I'm not gonna, I don't feel all that applies to this situation, and it does feel like a situation. And like I said, we're, we're thinking about more wrong, what's gonna be going around, like, you know, like I said, no matter what your faith is, is, is it Christmas Eve? For some reason, Christmas Eve. Okay, that's what I'm hearing for Sagittarius. Let's see what goes on here. There we go. Now I can see the chats. All right, let's see what this is around. Sagittarius, holiday season. Sagittarius. All right. Actually, I think this is for a small group of Sagittarius who actually, and I, I like the nine of diamonds right here, that feels like a person. And I'm trying to think, I, you know what? I may look that up here and actually post it on here to show you what the nine of diamonds represents for the birth date. Um, anyway, whatever is revolving around this person is a puzzle to this, to this group of Sagittarius at the, at the moment. There is unanswered questions. And I, for some reason for Sagittarius, for this one, for this small group, I feel like grabbing the love deck. And for some reason I did put down two different love decks. So I feel that love is going to come into this one. Okay, we've got the wheel and we've got the sage, all right? So right now I'm looking at a wish card, which actually feels like it's revolved around a person, okay? And then we've got, there's a puzzle around the situation with this person and we've got the wheel, which to me tells me, you know, like I always describe the wheel, the wheel goes around and then it, it kind of like in your life, you goes in ups and downs, you know, there's like a lot of, you know, you can have some good luck and then there's not so good luck, right? Well, that's the wheel turning. All right. So around this holiday season, <clears throat> excuse me, there's going to be kind of a, I almost feel it's a situation. I, I'm, I, and I feel it's uh, weighing in Sagittarius's head. And if it's not Sagittarius, then reverse the roles with, it almost feels like love to me, okay? So these are just general ones. Um, anyway, the wheel is showing me upright. So maybe Sagittarius has a lot of stuff going around their head about this situation that they're so puzzled about. Maybe answers hasn't have not came to you yet about 
and has made you feel like the sage. The sage is like the hermit. The hermit goes within themselves. Let me show you the picture here. Do you see how he's got, he's studying? He's diligently studying. Okay, so I'm actually going to pull some tarot on here. And you know what's really strange is I didn't pull up tarot deck. Huh. Okay, maybe I'm not supposed to. All right, let's go different something. Uh, what is this situation about Sagittarius for the holiday season? And whatever it is, the key date on this one that stood out was Christmas Eve. So whatever your belief is, uh, be the 24th of December, something about a situation around a wish that's needing to be fulfilled. How, read this how you will. Um, wish that you're wanting to have fulfilled. It's a puzzle. Is this going to happen? And I literally felt like going to the love deck. And I literally, I put down two love decks for this. I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, okay, so this, you know, as far as love goes, love does not always mean that it's just two couple, you know, it could be also um, family members. It's whoever you actually put your heart into and you love, okay? It could be family members, it could be friends who are like family, okay? Um, so you, while you're listening to this, you put this in your life to imply it how it will, because I don't, I'm like I said, it's just a general, but I'm obviously picking up on something and someone. Um, this is actually the cards that I got were the lost card. And I feel that for Sagittarius, there's been a lot of muddled thinking around this wish card. And, and maybe that's where the, the puzzle, see, at first I thought it was about love and it is about love. And I will be pulling some of the, some of that out of there. No representation. I just heard me putting the, the cards up here. The love decks is representation. So this may actually be somebody who is family who has, has left your life. You know, sometimes when I get going on these and it's just a general, I'm not sure which direction it's going to, but it almost sounds like there's some kind of barrier in this Sagittarius's head. And it doesn't feel like, I don't think you can flip this to somebody else watching your stuff. This is actually Sagittarius. This is a small group who have actually just been sitting here wishing they're all confused about a situation. And the wheel shows upright. Oh, okay. The wheel shows completely upright, correct? Right? That's when stuff is like at its highest, the highest vibration, and that's when you're doing the best you can, right? Because the wheel always continues to turn, and sometimes it slams down, sometimes it slams up, okay? So even though, whatever the situation is, there was a loss around the situation, so I don't usually talk about it too much unless it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody, but even if you have lost family members, and that's what it almost feels like, it feels like you've lost somebody you love, that's and I'm seeing the barrier, and I'm looking at the wish card, the puzzle, and the wheel, and the sage, okay? So when I look at that, it's like somebody is wishing, they're puzzled by why this happened. This is where it's switching. That's where the love cards come in. This is somebody who has muddled thinking, which, you know, if something like that did happen to you, then that's very understandable. And it's put a barrier up, and you just don't, it's, it's like being in a box. See how he's kind of in a box? That's what I'm feeling. Now, if this turns into two different groups, I've got the time, and I will take it into two different groups, but I still, I keep looking at the love cards as well. So I'm actually almost seeing two different situations here, and I'm going to confirm them, whether or not it's one or two. Loss. Beauty. Okay, so this is going to be two different situations. I got confirmation that, yeah, this one right here, there's one. There's two different situations here. And what I'm seeing is, is like I said, it, it kind of turned really quick. And I and it's because it's not just for one group. And today I will do multiple groups. So I'm seeing two groups of Sagittarius in this one. The first one I'm going to apply it to is we're going to go ahead and I want to go ahead and get the one um, because when it, it's a loss or something like that as far as um, a person who has left your life that meant a lot to you. That I want to go ahead because I am being a Scorpio. I'm extremely sensitive, so I just want to go ahead and get that one done. So I'm going to put this one up here. That's for the next group. So the wish card. So this is how I'm going to read it for the ones who have recently lost somebody. All right, and this, it, like I said, apply it how you will. Um, I see there's muddled thinking. We've got with the loss. It really made 
see how it's just kind of black and oozing and it's just there's a barrier you just can't think okay so for this one right here we're gonna we're gonna read for the group there's two groups of Sagittarius guys one is about love like a couple it looks like and then there's another one here that I'm gonna this the one I got secondly which is about somebody who has actually lost somebody who has passed on during this time okay so I'm gonna get the one that shows me um, the heartache as far as losing, whether it's a family member, whoever it was, um, because it's showing a lot of clouded, un muddled thinking and just to puzzle why this happened. So we're just gonna do a brief, but there'll be two groups for Sagittarius. Love, okay. All right. Nope. All right, for this one right here, we've got the palm tree. You see the palm tree? It's about your stability. This has shook this group of Sagittarius to the core is what I'm feeling. Um, Sagittarius is pretty, this group of Sagittarius is pretty good with flexibility as far as, you know, being able to bounce back. But this one kind of took you for a loop. But so this one right here is affecting that. All right, let's just see where we can go from here. Let's find something. Talking, talking about the holiday season, because you know what, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on with a lot of people, you know, and I'm not, I'm not undermining Sagittarius. If you've had a loss, I'm not undermining that whatsoever, because that's, that's terrible. But what I'm saying is, is it's just been like that. There's been a pattern. If you've noticed for the last, well, since it was actually started before 2020, if it was literally, it was around September, it was in the fall of 2019 stuff started changing stuff started turning different you know just uh, unexpected stuff and i and way back when i said expect the unexpected and it just seems like it's just extended itself but you know what 2022 which i will be doing the readings for those here in the near future are actually you know what it's not going to be peaches and cream but it's going to be more even keeled because that's the thing is this year no matter what sign you are it's hard to keep up with all the highs and lows because that that's what it seems like it's about time you get, you know, you, you get good at one area, then all of a sudden there's something else that comes and flops on your plate, right? Okay, so for this one right here, this is for the first group of Sagittarius, which actually was the second one that I picked up on, but we're going to go ahead and do this one and, and uh, see what we can get messages for that. And then this one's talking about most likely a female Sagittarius and something to do with her home revolving love, okay? I'll, I won't know until I get into it. But this is the second group over here. I'm going to put it there. This one's for an actual physical loss, I feel, of some kind. That it actually feels like an end. And I keep seeing the, the death card, which I don't always read that because like that because death card is an end. But apply it how you will. Whoever this was, um, and if it's a relationship, I no, this is not. This is it is, but it's not. Okay, so we've got the King of Diamonds here. All right. This is the describing the man, complex man, subtle, suave, suave. I'm not sure how you say that. Attractive to women. He's born uh, a born actor, so he's really good. Okay, so this one, I'm, I'm kind of actually kind of getting that idea. I can see his. It's weird. I can I can't see his face, but I can see his personality. He's the one that you walk up and he can have a conversation with anybody. So this is representing this person that has left your life. Okay, this is for Sagittarius, a small group of Sagittarius. And what I'm getting from this person is that, like, you, you could be anywhere, and he could strike up a conversation with somebody, and it was just on point. Okay, this person, he's, I, and, and with him being a king, he's also very good as far as financially wise. You know, he's very good at keeping track of his books and stuff like that. I mean, hard worker, that's what I'm getting. He's very quirky. That's what I get. So if this sounds like you when you're watching this and you've had somebody who has left your life who is like that, then this message is for you. Okay. What else am I, what am I missing? Oh, um, I heard overalls. Something about overalls. This person almost like farm. I've been smelling dirt. Okay. So yeah. So whoever this was that could possibly have left your life recently or it feels recent to you, it almost feels like it has been pretty recent um I, he was quite the character i can't see his face but i can feel his personality and and his personality was i don't know it's not quite like anybody's you know not like every 
he's got a lot of personality and he really would tell you what was on this person to tell you which I actually I may get up and get my spirit deck because I may get a message from spirit I'm not sure because I'm feeling something but I'm not being touched yet um, so this person is definitely passed on this is not a relationship right here this is actually somebody who's passed on and somebody is looking for a message from this person and for some reason and, and what I'm smelling when I say dirt is somebody who works with their hands this is not this is not anything derogatory or anything this is somebody who is you know works with their hands worked hard and has worked literally in the dirt like they they probably came home grubby all the time or what you remember is they were they were constantly at work this person worked this is a hard worker like one of the original hard workers if that helps okay all right I got the ten of diamonds and I'll show you here in a minute because I don't feel all this applies to it and this is for a small group of Sagittarius and it is showing me that somebody has recently left your life or it feels recent to you and has caused a muddled thinking because of this loss and either you're feeling like a stranger, you could have been a stranger to this person, but I think you're actually feeling muddled thinking. You're puzzled by what happened. Um, a clue would be the Nine of Diamonds, um, or it could represent the Wish card. I really feel it represents a person, the Nine of Diamonds, which would be the Cartomancy. And um, like I said, it's been years since I've really studied those. So look up your Cartomancy and the Nine of Diamonds, and that might give you a hint of a birth date of this person. He was, I'm getting not, he was an older man, older than you. And it almost feels like family. It truly does. But there's, it has created a great barrier in your life. It's made you feel, okay, 10 of diamonds. And I put it over top of the sage. We've got the 10 of diamonds. And it says it's a card of confinement and bondage. And what is this about right here? Okay. All right. Yeah. Whoever this is. Um, I don't normally do this, but I almost feel like this is somebody who's popped on. If you're going through something like this, and I got hard yes, um, I don't normally do it. Get a hold of me, okay? You can find me on Facebook, but yeah, this is a rough minute. Okay, so anyway, we've got the sage. This is, I think this is talking about you as a person. I don't think it's so much describing the other person. And you could have even been studying diligently, or you're studying to try to figure out what the heck happened here. Yeah, that feels right. Okay. Card of confinement. The situation made you feel like a stranger within yourself and like you're like in bondage, a barrier. And I'm not seeing so much, <clears throat> not saying there's not. I'm not, and this is one that kind of makes me pay attention. Um, I don't see a bunch of tears. So I don't necessarily it. Either this person, the Sagittarius that's sitting here watching this, or this person that there is going through this right now. You know how whenever you've lost somebody, I mean, I can I can attest to this one. This one, I've been through it several times. If you, when you lose somebody, you do go through different phases. And that's it. Okay. You have to... <laughs> You do go through different phases. Yeah, it was an end. Um, wall or barrier, I'll show you. I'll explain it here in a minute. I'm just trying to piece this together, but I get it. This is Sagittarius. This is a group of Sagittarius who are going within themselves because of a loss that had to do with the King of Diamonds. The King of Diamonds is somebody, and the hint is, and don't take this derogatory or anything or don't put it in a warped sense, okay? Because what I'm saying is this man is somebody who worked with his hands. <clears throat> he... Um, he took and he probably worked with the earth. He could have been a farmer. I mean, he could have been a farmer. But whoever this was did not come home clean, okay? So anyway, this is about Sagittarius not confining and putting their brain in confinement and bondage and, and not, not dealing with something. And it could be, this could be an event where, you know, this could have, it feels recent. But around certain dates, excuse me, <clears throat> around certain dates, if you notice, if you've lost somebody around certain dates, you become a certain way and you may not even realize it. So if it was around this time of year or the holiday season meant a lot to you with this person, then that's when you'll be replaying all this. So I think this is a group of Sagittarius who thought that they had dealt with everything with it and you haven't. And trust me, that is like, that. that's normal. It's normal, but what's not normal and no, never mind. We're not even going to say normal because I don't even believe in normal. What is normal? Describe that to me. Um, what is your normal? 
how do you deal with stuff? With this situation right here, um, instead of putting it in the in the past, you're actually just kind of putting a barrier. You're not dealing with it. Okay, so for Sagittarius, this is the key focus. It took me a minute. As I pick up my cards that flew everywhere. Um, that was it's a key focus is the simple fact that Sagittarius, this group of Sagittarius who have got this raw and it feels raw loss in their life. It's it's about refocusing. And if if this has just happened, then of course you're not gonna be expected to just bam, you know, let's do this. No. You go ahead and but do not, whatever you do, the message here is no matter how recent or how old this is in your heart as far as when this happened. You need to go through this. Do not block those feelings because that's where people get in trouble. And it's easier said than done, but um, trust me, I don't say it to everybody, but I have gone through it multiple times with, with physical loss of people and very close to me. And if you don't deal with stuff, then it's just going to bottle up and you're going to be like a little, like a Coke bottle with mementos in it. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Boom. Okay. So if you're the set group of Sagittarius that you're either getting quiet and you're, re you're getting away from people. Five, five. Okay. So this happened, a change. It was very fast. So this is more recent, I think. Okay. So long story short, what we're going to refocus on and actually, um, let's see, I'm going to get my, just let you guys can come on in, but I am on live. You're fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're fine. Just look around. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so, and you guys will hear me here in a minute, um, off and on, I'm at Rooster's Peacock, I'm at my shop, but so people can come in, you know, with the holidays coming up really quick and stuff, I want to make sure people could come, come and get stuff, so you will hear people coming in, and I may pause it, I'm giving a warning now when I'm doing these, because I may have to get up and help somebody, so as long as y'all is cool with it, I'm cool with it. Okay, so this one right here, I'm, I actually wanted, I told you I wanted to get the spirit deck, and that's what I'm going to do. Actually, these are the first ones that I was drawn to. Okay. So, let's see what we get here. Okay, there's the answer. That's what I thought. Okay, here we go. What did I just say? This one right here for Sagittarius. This is for the small group of Sagittarius who has actually had a man who's walked out of their life as far as passing on. Um, it was actually quite a, a big surprise to you. It actually puzzled you, and it actually shook your stability. And you've actually put a wall or barrier up instead of de dealing with it. You have the double barrier. Do you see the words barrier? And you have the barrier here. And becoming a stranger, which means you're kind of detaching yourself from the situation. This is talking about um, this is something that you really are going to have to work on and you cannot do that. I mean, you're going to for a minute. That's natural. But you, cannot, you can't live there. You can't sit there. All right, so we have, and it's a, we have the wheel and the sage. This is a person who, again, card of confinement and bondage. This is somebody who has, um, who has locked themselves away in their head about this, and most likely probably haven't dealt with it, or it's so fresh that they can't. These are the spirit cards and the messages that I got from them. Is free yourself from this cage, and you need to heal yourself. You see it? You see the woman in the cage. So you have to free yourself from this confinement that was, I'm not going to say it was self-made, but you have a way out. There's a door, just like on the, on the picture of the cage, there's a door and there's a way out. So you need to open up that door and come out of your own mind about the situation. Whether this is just, just happened five years, 10 years, just recently happened it doesn't matter you have to start healing on this you cannot block this away and put it into into like a little cage you can't put yourself within that cage it's time to come out so for the first group i'm just going to do closing thoughts here with the spirit cards and this um what i tell people is is like i said if you're one person who came on here for some reason i'm holding this up butterfly means something to you I'm going to look at the picture here. Yeah, butterfly, transformation. It's not just the word transformation, but it's butterfly. And what's a butterfly? What does a butterfly come from? A cocoon. All right? And here's the thing is something so plain and simple ends up being so beautiful. So it's time for you to break yourself out of your own self, 
barriers that you've brought to yourself because you are not dealing from, from this uh, loss of this person. And I'm not being cold on this. I'm just, I'm just matter of factly saying it because I'm piecing it together as I'm, I'm seeing it. Need to be working on finding your, your inner self again. I almost feels I hear guilt. You, you, some people. That's one. Yes. What did I just say? And trans. And I'm telling you, butterfly means something to you. Let me show you something. Do you see my tattoo? All right. Blue butterflies. Blue butterflies represent healing to me. See it? Grieving. Okay, so whoever is going through this right now, you cannot continue to sit in your own self-made cage. Life is out there ready for you to take hold of, and you haven't been feeling yourself, and you need to get going. Um, just for anybody, just to let you know, um, I may have glasses on, but the last year, my eyes have taken a beaten with some black mold, and I really, I, I'm not even going to pretend. I cannot see very far, so I can see my phone in front of me, but I cannot see what you're saying. So towards the end of this, I will take and um, look and see what you got. And then, um, but at this moment, I'm just going to continue on. So for the one that's, uh, for the group of Sagittarius that are grieving, it's time to make that transformation. And there is something that sticks out to me about the holiday, no matter what your faith is. And I'm seeing Christmas tree. So most likely um, your belief is, is on, on Christmas, you know. I just think it's pretty, you know. But anyway, on, on the Christmas tree, on Christmas Eve, you may actually, uh, bad patterns. You need to watch your bad patterns of, of how you deal with it. And you, everybody's human. Everybody's human. And I don't care what anybody tells you. Everybody has bad habits on how they deal with stuff because they maybe don't know how. Or you don't realize it's still sitting there because you locked it away. You may have to have a come into yourself meeting and kind of figure out, you know, listen, I've got to go ahead and deal with it. Okay. Why? Because you need peace. All right. For that is for the small group of Sagittarius. But the message here is that, yes, it can be overcome, but it's going to take time. It is not going to be some magic little thing, you know, and for some reason, for some of you, I don't know why I just got this and you know, I'm blunt. There is no magic pill. And I'm not saying if you're put on medication, not to take it. Just be cautious what you do. Don't even know why I felt like saying that. Okay. So that is for the first set of Sagittarius. Let me do a recap real quick. That has to do with a wish, or a wish card. It actually represents somebody out in the cartomancy, um, the nine of diamonds personality type person. I believe I'm nine of diamonds too. I'm five of diamonds and nine of diamonds. Anyway, <clears throat> this one here represents a man. This man had quite the quirky personality, but yet he was extremely hard worker. Um, he did have a quick temper, so you never wanted to piss him off. And yes, I do cuss. So if you don't like that, you may, you know, switch over. But um, it was whatever it was, Whatever, what, not whatever, we know it's somebody who's passed on because with the transformation, this is somebody who is um, either it's so raw that it happened that you cannot seem to get past it yet, or you've just put a wall and barrier up and you're not dealing with it. So it's time to take those barriers down and around Christmas Eve, you will be taking and dealing with that and thinking about it. So you need to refocus on your stability and your yeah, security and being more flexible. That's it. So this loss is kind of make, it, it's like you're just walking around muddled thinking. Okay. And I'm not making less of it. I'm just piecing it together. So this is the time, the message from the person that has passed on. I don't feel them anymore. I thought them for a second a while ago, but I asked the spirit cards and it's talking about, um, that's where the transformation, let's see. You need to go ahead and, and go through your grieving process and you, you'll find the answers in your transition of healing. That's when you begin. Okay. Then you'll begin, you, you'll begin to get, gain that peace. Um, because there's so many questions around what happened. So around the holiday, like I said, around Christmas Eve, and that's standing out as Christmas Eve. And this is about the holiday. Um, trying to think, cause I'm hearing something, but I'm not sure what it is. Okay, here's a message, okay, for whoever this is, male or female, I feel it's more like a female Sagittarius I'm saying this to, okay, 
beauty during this event or because of this event and you've locked yourself within your own head and like i said again my facial expressions somebody was like man you look like you're mad no 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 no, no. i'm tired i've been going 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 but i want to i'm doing this is fun stuff for me so if y'all can deal with the hot tired look we're good all right so anyway beauty this card right here immediately represents to me that you need to take a minute because what happens whenever you're focused on grieving and sadness and stuff happening is, is we don't always take care of ourselves the way we should. Sure, you may shower and stuff, but maybe you're not doing the same things as you did before. So the message from spirit is, is you need to realize how beautiful you truly are. Male or female applies, but it feels like a female, okay? You need to take a minute and really just kind of look deep within yourself. So if there's any guilt you're holding over this, it's not yours to hold. And you need to go ahead and start taking care of yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually again. Okay? That is the message from Spirit. All right. I'm going to pick up some of these and we're going to move on to the second half of Sagittarius. Because I'm going to do groups today if they pop up. And the second half was talking about love. So let's put some of this stuff away here. And it's these cards right here. That's going to be my, my basis for it. Get these out of the way. Okay, so this for the second group of Sagittarius, let's see where this is leading, okay? And this is for the holiday. The holiday, days around the holiday. Sagittarius. So to be around Christmas time, it does not matter what religion you are, what spirituality you are. It's just the time frame. Okay. And for whatever reason, for the second group, wish is fulfilled. Okay. And then the cards that I'm looking. Okay, new beginning. Okay, so this is for a, a group of Sagittarius. I'm going to tell you right now. It's talking about the beauty. Okay, you can actually represent a female Sagittarius, or you could read this cross, you know, vice versa. Um, or it's talking about person finding beauty and stuff again, you know, kind of waking up. I got the, the yes card, or I got it happened around, started around um, the fall time is what I'm getting. And then we've got the home. So this has affected the home. What happened? A new beginning came for this group of Sagittarius. And I do. I'm looking at the love cards. So this had love to do with it somewhere. This is, okay, this is about somebody taking themselves out of a situation. Of, or, no, hold up. See, brand new beginning. They liberated themselves from a, a situation. It's talking about the home. It's almost like there might have been a physical move here. Because it's talking about a brand new beginning. Working on, it's not just, it doesn't feel like they were just now working on it. This is something they've been working on for quite a while. Then they liberated themselves from not a so hot situation. And it looks like they have a wish, wish card, wish fulfilled, make a new, okay. I don't feel like reading that. And the reason I say I don't feel like reading that is when I look at words like this and cards like this, when you see the words, I, you know, when somebody takes a yellow highlighter, there's certain words that stick out to me, and it looks like a yellow highlighter. This one said wish card, nine of diamonds. And it doesn't feel like it's representing a person this time, like the first Sagittarius, okay? All right. We got the moon card. I hear around a moon, okay? I don't feel like this is something hidden. I don't necessarily think it's illuminated yet. I haven't heard anything, but I did hear it was around a moon. And the card work. All right, so I want to figure out what area. I, I, it's obvious that most likely this group of Sagittarius had probably literally moved home or they're planning to do this soon. The answer is the wish card. You get your wish. If you're trying to get out of, and it looks like Sagittarius, if this has not happened to you yet, you will be liberating yourself from a situation or moving on to a better home is what it's looking like. But there's definitely a brand new beginning. It's taken a lot of work. This started around the moon. Okay, so there's a hint for you. And you will be liberating yourself from the situation soon. Wish is fulfilled. We got the beauty. Yes. The sun. When I see the sun card, whatever this was, there was a lot of hard work. Well, everybody was, and usually when I see the sun card, I see the festival. Do you see how they're just kind of dancing around and stuff? 
that's not what I'm getting here. Um, yeah, while everybody was kind of kicking back in the fall time, you're really working hard about this home situation. And I feel situation. What do we got here? Yeah. We got the destruction card. So most likely it was not such a hot, like I said, I just said it a while ago, not such a hot home situation. Yes. So this is for a group of Sagittarius where it wasn't such a hot home situation and you had a wish in mind, you know, you want this to stop. The answer is yes, it's going to. And if you haven't done it, it's going to happen here pretty quick. And for those of you who haven't done this situation, because actually it's not just one or two Sagittarius, actually you guys are going like in a wave. I see a wave. And there's some of you since, you know, there's thousands and thousands of Sagittarius, but this one here, for whatever reason, the Zodiac signs are kind of going in waves in groups. You know, like they're cleaning out different parts in their path. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting. And this one, you will liberate yourself from whatever the situation is. And it does have, revolve around a home. Um, it's talking about beauty. Yes, there was some kind of destruction came down. Um, I feel it was around a moon. There's been a lot of work on this new beginning. So if it's already happened to you and you've liberated yourself, the month February is pointing out to me. I'm not sure why it has to do. It's almost like I'm seeing, okay, I had peace for the other group of Sagittarius. I'm seeing a dove in peace. All right. So if Sagittarius is seeking their peace uh, around February 18th, that's what I'm getting, 18th. You'll be able to put this beast behind you. Okay. <clears throat> Not sure. And this has actually been affecting Sagittarius's body. And if you have been going and going, this almost seems like this is like a group of Sagittarius who is, who is dealing with whatever the situation is. And apply this how you will. Um, this is for a very small group. That Sagittarius has been, when I see the body card, this could be many different stuff, you know, as far as if you think about it, the body, it actually affects the body. Well, if you're working, it shows Sagittarius working their butt off around a new moon. And I mean, probably to the point of exhaustion on this to liberate themselves from the situation for this brand new beginning. You probably, I mean, it, you'll be able to take a breath. So <clears throat> around the holiday season, I'm not getting like, you know, certain dates in December or anything. It's just more of what you're contemplating and thinking about. All right, let's see anything else out of here. This is for the second group. Now I did two, two groups for Sagittarius this time. So just to let you know, there was one before this that actually popped up the second, you know, when I was pulling it out, it ended up being two different stories. So I actually did the first, the second story first, because that one was more of a touchy one. That was more of somebody who had lost somebody. And then this one's about love and about uh, Sagittarius liberating themselves probably actually either are going to be moving home or they are they have moved home and for those who have moved home already getting away from a beast of a destruction type situation that actually um really reared its head around fall time around the fall wheat see that um I just say any and it could be a decision that was made but a wish card is fulfilled liberation is coming and if you're wishing for peace it is coming but it's revolving around a home all right. Yep. Not today. This has to do with love. Yeah. This part right here does feel like a love situation. It feels like Sagittarius or, you know, if you're, if reverse the roles, however it is in your life and take what you can from it. Um, not today, not dealing with hurt, avoiding conversation called angry boundaries. Boundaries were crossed here. That's what this is about. So what's strange is I put down two decks. So whatever this was, in the beginning, there was a lot of love. We're talking a lot of love. Now we're at, my boundaries have been crossed. So I'm not sure the depth on it. I'm not going to get too much farther, but your message is you are going to liberate yourself from this snake, whether it's a person or a situation. And it almost feels like a, a, a person, but I'm not seeing a person card. So apply that how you will. All right, let's do a closing thought for Sagittarius, the second group of Sagittarius here. And like I said, this is for the reading for um, your holiday season. Whatever your spirituality is, whatever religion you are, it does not matter. I think Christmas trees are pretty. So I did it for around Christmas Eve, Christmas, you know, and what you're working through or what's going on around you. Is this the right deck? Nope. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Closing thoughts for Sagittarius. This is going to be, we're going to do, actually I'm not really feeling 
like doing it for two different groups. It's closing thought for Sagittarius, that one to come out. All right, I'm not sure where this is coming from. Oh, okay, I know where that's coming from. Okay, I think this is for the first group. All right, I'm going to pull that one first. And the one that fell is for the second one I just did, okay? The reason I know it is because there's a snake in the tree. Here we go. Wish wisely. This is for the first group. And actually, no, I just heard no. This is for both groups. This is not just for one. This is your closing messages for Sagittarius. It is not just the one group. It's both groups. So your messages are... Wish wisely. Be careful what you wish for. And for the ones that were actually moving home, remember, and I'm not saying if, if you're getting out of a bad situation, awesome, do it. But if you're sitting in a situation and you're trying to rush through, you really need to sit here and think, why am I rushing so fast? Okay. Unless you have to. If it's a destructive situation, heck yeah, get out. But it says wish wisely. And see, we've got the wish card here. Your wish is going to be fulfilled. But double check in your brain. And the word temptation is over top of it. So whatever this means to you, whatever, okay? You're in you are in denial about unhealthy habit, perhaps one that makes you feel guilty. The fairy says that you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever it is. Wish wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dream come true. Okay, so this is definitely Sagittarius up in their head. And I'm sorry, we can take a list of all the bad habits we have. Whether it's, oh my God, there's a big old cheesecake. It's mine. And then you're like, oh my God, I ate the whole thing. Or, ooh, look at that vodka. Or... We can just keep going. And, and for some reason, I picked up on pills earlier. So just be very careful of your temptation to not deal with, with these situations. All right? Because I think this is Sagittarius. A lot of this, for some of you, the situation has already gone down. If this has not gone down, and this is only for a small group. I'm not saying all Sagittarius, this is going to happen to. If you've already had something in the fall happening around you that's like this, by February, you're going to, by February, and usually I don't remember dates, by February 18th, you will start getting a little bit more at peace. I mean, you'll actually be able to, whew. So be careful what you wrap yourself up into to kill the pain, okay? Um, like I said, a lot of people have been going through stuff. This, the, and it hasn't been just the last year. So this one here, I'm gonna do this for Sagittarius and I think I'm gonna do this for every Zodiac sign if I possibly can. It has been nuts. I ain't even gonna lie. I was a bear this last weekend because it, it's just like, I don't know. There was just something waving through. Grumpy. Oh my Lord. I felt sorry for everybody around me. But you know what? Here's the thing is, and this is where the squirrel brain goes, right? Okay. All of a sudden I call it squirreling because I'm like, okay, yeah, I felt like this, but this is what's going on. Okay. It's been where you just go, 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 go. Then you have to deal with all this other stuff on top of it. And you're supposed to expect to be acting what's normal. Okay. Whatever your normal is. Okay. So it, it's not been much of a break no matter what. Whether And there has been just so many surprise things. Stuff you don't expect. And if you remember right, if you guys had followed me before, if you look back on some of them. Matter of fact, it was way back in 2020 whenever I was... Um, they thought I had COVID, so I had to stay home. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not gonna, just going to sit here and do nothing. So I got online, and I started doing my reading. And I, I did some predictions. Yeah, I'm wearing a red top. It's one of the ones way back in 2020. Uh, I predicted a few things on that stuff. I'm not always right. Not every reader is... If a reader tells you they're right all the time, eh. Um, I'm not right. I, I'm not... Well, how? Let's put it this way. I am not... I haven't been wrong, per se, but we don't know everything. That's it. That's the way to do it. Because I've never had anybody really tell me I was wrong. They have told me that, you know, there was more details to it. Well, each reader is different. So just an FYI, um, you might want to go recap 2020. I was wearing a red top. Had like a little heart thing here. I can't remember which one it was. But it actually, this stuff here, it, it's it's 2022, and I'm, I'm not going to get into 2022 for Sagittarius quite yet, because the simple fact of it is, I'm going to do a video just for 2022, and then we'll see how many groups pop up, 
And what I mean by groups is you have one group of people going through stuff, such as the first one who had a loss that revolved around a man. And then the second one that had to do with a love situation or they were getting out of a bad home situation or the home is they had to change homes. Okay. And then they had to start it. It took a lot of work. They're worn out. They've really got to watch their temptations. They're, they have liberated themselves from the situation or they have been liberated. Okay. So that's an example of two groups here in Sagittarius. Sometimes, you know, I'll, you know, if I've got the time, I'll do those groups. So the message is I'm not going to give a bunch of stuff away for 2022, but People need to stop, you know, we always have this thing where we put the eyes on the prize. That's what Sagittarius needs to do. Put your eyes on a prize. What's that mean? Put a goal. All right. If, if you're, if you're up in your head and it's constant, it never stops, then you need to get some, and, and I'm not talking about the ones who are, who are grieving. I'm talking about the ones that are feeling like they're in a hole and they're not getting out or they're numbing it with stuff that they really know they shouldn't. If you're doing something and you feel guilty, there's a problem. Okay. So this is what you need to do. You need to refocus yourself. You need to, it's talking about work and beginning, new beginning and stuff. You need to refocus yourself. Got a hobby? Got something you like to do? Lacking money? Okay. A lot of people are lacking money. Here's your hint right now. Money is sitting around you all the time. All the time like what what are you talking about all right so you're sitting down in your chair and you're sitting here looking around and let's say oh you got a coffee pot you're not using if you're from over here you've got you've got the Facebook marketplace there is always something there around you that you can make money on it, you're not gonna have and, and you're probably tired of either not having enough and not barely baking it but you know what you still have stuff around you. Look around your home. Is there stuff you don't need? Sell it. But don't sell it for bad reasons. I don't know why I felt like saying that, but you need to be very cautious. What I'm saying is, is everybody, and that's it. Okay. This is also about some Sagittarius who are feeling down because they are not able to do what they would call their holiday season. They're not able to get the gifts and stuff like that. Okay. what? Well, I can't. Just because I have a shop does not mean that I'm, you know, doing top notch here. We've all had stuff happen. But you know what I'm going to do? There's stuff sitting around me and you're like, oh, well, you got all that. Okay, let me tell you what. This took a lot of work. You've got stuff you can make. Think about it. It doesn't matter. Just take some time. Refocus your brain. Get your brain off of some of this situation here and do it. Put it towards something more positive. So if you've got, you've got people you want to do Christmas gifts for then go ahead and find something. I mean, find something. Make it. A handwritten note. It is not always about the material stuff. And people really get up in their heads about that, that it's all about the material. No, it's about the people that you're around that you actually care about. And it's not just the holidays, because this one tweaks my butt all the time. And I this is where Barda starts ranting. It won't be too long. I'll stop here in a minute. But I'm just going to tell you, you guys need to stop guilt tripping yourself and this has to do with Sagittarius. I have a feeling I'm going to be saying this to most signs because people are up in their heads of, oh my God, I just can't. My kids are, okay. Deep breath. Sometimes even a spoken word of kindness is a present, okay? It is not about what you can give somebody material materialistically. It is about what you can give of yourself to that person. And people have really lost the idea of what gift giving is. And it doesn't necessarily mean it's just Christmas. Like I said, no matter what your belief is, it's the intentions behind. It doesn't matter. You know what? I had example. People need to go back. People need to go back to more of this, the simplicity, thinking about how it's more about spending time with family, not spending the money to give them everything they want, you know? And this is, you know, Sagittarius, every sign has, is going to have some issues with financial. Not everybody, but there's a lot. There's a lot of people struggling. It just, it, it's just been the year. Time. Take the time to actually have that conversation with your child instead of walking past them. Yes, you're busy working. Yes, you're trying to do da 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 da, da. Not today. Okay, because you're all wrapped up because parents get wrapped up in their situations. This is for, for some reason, I felt like to saying that to the second half. You have children. Quit walking by them. 
Take the time. Stop. Listen to them. That is a present. Caring and loving about somebody is a present. It is not something that is deemed to have to, you know, you have to do. It is a gift. Enjoy it. Appreciate it. Okay? Whether it is children, um, family members, lovers, it doesn't matter. Appreciation and time spent is the answer, not materialistic stuff. Because I can sit here and be like, oh, let's see here, guys. Ooh, hey, here's my old banged up. Here. Here. Made a gift for you. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, do you see there was nothing there? Okay. You are the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. You're absolutely gorgeous. Your personality beams. Okay, that was a bigger present than this, which I'm, I'm not knocking my stuff. Trust me, I put a lot of time work in this one. But what I'm saying is the material stuff, it is nothing unless you have some heartfelt behind it. What is your priorities? Sit your kids down. Sit your family members down. When's the last time you told somebody you love them? People are getting so wrapped up in their head. And I'm saying, and these are situations that you can't help it. You can't help it get wrapped up in your head. But this holiday season, the message for both groups of Sagittarius, that's it. And I feel, I'm feeling like warm and cozy on this one. Like I'm literally being, I feel it. It's reconnecting with yourself. It's reconnecting with your family. It's working on yourself for your bad habits. Maybe you've done some bad habits because people do at one point numb the pain. There's other people around you. You need to take a minute. It's a work, it's work in progress. And so that's what you're working on. Don't let this consume you, whichever situation you are as a, this group of Sagittarius or even in whatever zodiac sign you are, whatever's going on with you, the message I have is do not let it all consume you to the point that you do not appreciate those around you. It is not about the material. It's about who you have around you. And it's not just Christmas time or whatever spirituality, belief or religion you are. It does not matter. I'm, let's rephrase. You know what I mean. I'm, this reading is just in general for anybody, any faith, any religion. It does not matter. It is not about the time where you have to give this gift. No. This is something that people need to work on to continually do. So wish wisely. What you, be careful of temptation. And I feel there's been a lot of anger around this. And sadness. And sadness. And that's it. Sadness masks its anger. All right. So take a minute. Especially for the second half, you got children. Take a minute, that child that you've been passing by quite a bit. Children, but child especially. There's one that stands out. Um, take that minute. Have that conversation. Listen to them. We are up in our heads, but what's that child going through? They're still learning how to live life, right? All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to be moving on. The next one is Capricorn. Let me see... Okay, I am now looking at the conversation down here. I'm going to put this away now. Um, I do have a couple minutes. I'm not going to be online for very long before I go on to Capricorn. Okay, so let me see. Get these cards put away. Um, it says, happy, happy. Maria, Jamal, go for it. Yes, go for it. Sue Kennedy. Let's see here. Thank you, buddy boy. Okay. Um. All right. This is for the one that asked. I'm dropping stuff everywhere. What did I drop? I heard something drop. Leo woman waiting for cancer man. Is it going to last in love? Uh, for some reason, I don't want to answer that quite yet. Let me see why. I'll do a real brief one, okay? <clears throat> so if anybody's on that had a question besides this, I'll take like two more and then I literally have to take a break and then I'll be back on for Capricorns, okay? But I won't answer any questions until the end. And I'm not in a real rush to get these, <clears throat> get these done. I'm just going to do it slowly. 
you know what I mean? So I'll do the groups, which means different groups of Sagittarius going through different stuff. And like I said, love call. Okay. This is the, this is, I'm trying to answer this one for Leo woman waiting for cancer man. Is it going to last in love? Okay, I, oops, sorry. Yeah, this one's, we're not going to get too deep. This is going to end up in a full reading. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. All right, so this is what I'm going to say about this. Now, I don't know your situation. Uh, matter of fact, I, I know the name, but I'm not sure. I'd have to see your face. Okay, so don't all freak out. Nothing like that, okay? Yes, you can. Um, you're wondering about Leo woman waiting for cancer man. Is it going to last in love? You got the justice card. Okay. Now you're going to have to apply this how you will. I'm not, I am not in your situation. So I will not try to give you extra advice to mislead you when you know what your situation is. Because a card reader, I can read this different ways. So I'm going to read this and then you put it together. That's how I do it. So that way I am not sitting here putting my two cents, personal two cents opinion in on something that I don't know about. Okay. And right now I'm not getting tons and tons of feel except other than I get, but I think it depends on how it's dealt with. Okay. So anyway, you got the justice card. This is for the cancer, the uh, boom, 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 boom. Leo woman waiting for cancer man. Okay. You have the love call. So there was love. Now, I don't, you know, like I said, I don't know your situation. <clears throat> Need time, take time. So somebody within this one is needing to heal. That's what I hear. Receiving what you need. Okay. Now, I've got over here the end result answer. But we're going to walk through this first. And you, like I said, normally I only take a couple cards. But this one could go in different areas. But you will know the answer. You will know. The end result, let me tell you the end, I'm going to tell you the end result real quick. The end result is for whatever reason, I got the liar card. Now don't take this wrong. Don't, because I can already feel that one. Don't do it. People can lie and not even realize they're lying. Let me tell you how. Okay, so somebody's got something on their mind. They're irritated at the other person, but they don't say anything, correct? And you're like, oh man, you know, I'm going to wring the freaking neck. But whenever they're around you, it's like, it's nothing. I'm okay. Okay, that's what I get, all right? So it's like it, there's communication barrier here for some reason. That's what I get. Now, the potential, um, and it looks like <clears throat> there's bird perched waiting for newsletter, a package. I think you're actually waiting for a message. New, uh, new adventures, a fresh start. Okay, so the end result is there's going to be a fresh start. And whether or not, I think this is a choice is going to be made is what I think. That's what I'm feeling. Yes, let me see here. Family matters, protection from a powerful friend, caterpillar, things will not always be this way, a change is coming, you're on the right path regards some aspect of your life. So, wherever you're sitting right now, and this has to do with the Leo woman waiting for the cancer man, wherever you're sitting right now in your head, you already know the answer, okay? I think that communication barrier gap, it's like not everything's being said, needs to be crossed. And once that's crossed, a fresh start. You're on the right path. Whatever you've been doing with this situation is getting better. So if instead of feeling like you can't push a situation, push it. Push it, push it. Family matters. Protection from a powerful friend. Protection also means loyalty, okay? So these are, these are just messages because the reason I'm doing it this way is because I'm not going to dig into this too much. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So that is the answer to your question. Okay. So it's talking about um, something um, around the moon. There was some kind of new beginning or a new way of life or way of thinking. Um, this is the sage. This is somebody who's kind of recluse, sticks to themselves. This has to do with the union. And around this moon, I was around the moon. Somebody was actually thinking about ending a situation. I don't know. It could be about an actual death, but I'm not feeling it. I'm not going to read more into this. Like I said, I'm not going to. You read it and play it how you will. 
um, but the end result is a change is coming. Open those communi communication um, lines some more. There's something more to this than there's more to this. It's not just that. There's more to it. So anyway, so this person, it was, these are just brief answers, and this is turning into a whole reading. We're not going to do that, but you've got the, the gist of it. So that's your answer for the Leo woman cancer man, I believe it was, with love. You put that together how you will, or I do do readings, so you can come to the office if you want, or we can do it by video chat. Not pushing. I don't push people. If you want to, you want to. But that was your message. It's going to take a lot of work. All right, let me see who's next here. I hope that helps some, because like I said, I felt like not digging too far. I'm not sure why. Okay, what do we got here? Do, 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 do. Okay, here's the, okay, here's, these are just general questions. Um, that is almost like a whole reading there. So, let's see. Um, you're talking about the shift in this new home. I hope so, Sue, because I, I, like I said, I, unless I dug and I didn't feel like digging on it right at the moment. I hope it did help. Um, okay, I'm for this is I terrible with names. Sorry. Um, it's K H U S B O O. Okay, what I'm I'm getting March. March is sticking out. It doesn't matter if you've already started these processes or not. It's it's like a I'm seeing even March. And this has to do with the home. I'm not gonna answer every single question that was in there. This is just general. Um March. Whatever that's about. You could you could already be in the process right now. I don't think so. I don't mm -hmm. the answer is March. Okay, let me see if I can get something more about that. But I'm not going to dig too deep on that. And the only reason I dug deep into the other one is because I needed to where that person could understand what the message I was conveying to them. Because if I didn't say it a certain way, if I just pulled three cards, it would not have came across the correct way. Yeah, it would have caused some problems. Okay, so. Doo -doo -doo. I'm not getting anything about a tower, but that doesn't mean anything. I don't always get everything, okay? I tell everybody I get what I get, and then I don't get any more. And right now, let me just see what I get. I'm seeing the number six, but you, let, let me explain something to you. Let me explain something. Readers, different readers can read really well when it comes to numbers and stuff. Mine, I get dates, and you know what? I'm pretty smack on. Don't take that one, take that with a grain of salt because I, that's not my forte, okay? Let's see what we got here. I'm just going to see what else pops up for you. Okay. Whatever this, your message is, and this is for, I wish, I wish I could hear how your name was sound because it's kind of cool looking. What's too much for you? Okay, anyway, I'm going to answer this last little bit, and then I'll be popping off here so I can get on to Capricorns. Like I said, this is just a little bit of general at the end. Your message, this is... Okay, um, so I'm going to finish this up. This is the last part of what the reading I'm going to do for you on this one. And then, um, like I said, if you want a reading, you can contact me and... Um, my services are up there. I've been reading for over 27 years. Okay, so anyway, the message you've got about this house move is you've got the rooster. Okay, you've got the rooster. And I don't feel like looking. And it's, I'm seeing the house in the background. It's a much better situation than what you've been in before. And the tree, it's the affairs of the family. Okay. You'll be moving on. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm seeing the carriage moving on. So this is definitely going to be happening. If it hasn't already happened, I don't think it has, but I'm talking around March. I'm not getting a certain date or anything. Uh, the barriers around the situation with you wanting to move, 
those barriers are no longer just like the mountains, you know, the mountains where you have to keep climbing. This is just a small wall. So you've got just a little bit more time to go before um, you're able to overcome this and go ahead and get on this. It feels like a physical journey. And actually, I think it's been a mental journey for you as well, because it's showing me, I, I just instantly felt like it was like, um, what I'm getting is data, 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 data. And let me tell you what that means to me. That's somebody's brain, what I call squirreling. It's like, well, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I just can't figure, because there's so much in your brain about this. You'll be able to have, um, it'll be much clearer here soon, but I'm getting March, okay? I don't know why I'm getting March, but that's what I get. All right, so that's the end of that one. Um, it's showing that the house, and, and I was going to only answer that one and stop, but this is for K-H-U-S-B-O-O. -O. Um, just to let you, that's what this was right here. Let me show you real quick. I'm not looking at the words. I'm seeing the roosters. You see how beautiful, and me, I'm a chicken person. I love birds. Do you see how beautiful that rooster is? Beautifuls are, ro roosters are beautiful. This is talking about your home, okay, compared to what you're leaving. Beautiful is compared okay so don't expect the best of the best but it's going to be better for you and then we've got the family we've got the tree see how full that tree is this will give you it's an opportunity to live more of a full life than what you have been and you will be physically moving away from do you see how there's just nothing the dirt and all that okay it's not going to be perfect it's still going to take a lot of work but you're getting ready to overcome this wall and i get marked for some reason okay I hope that helped. All right, guys, I'm going to pop off here, take a break, and then I'm going to try to get back on because, like I said, I do have the shop open. And um, so in the next one, if I do have to get up, you all is just going to have to be patient or I won't be able to do them. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and try to get these for around the holiday season, no matter what your faith, religion, any of that is. It'll be around what would be U.S. Um, around Christmas time, okay? So it was nice talking to everybody and I will let you guys know. I think I'll do Capricorn on Facebook and then I may be going over to YouTube. Um, so if you're not signed up for my YouTube, because I may, I'm going to be going live over there, not for Capricorn, but the next one. So go ahead and uh, you'll find Rooster's Peacock on YouTube. Go over there, like and share and subscribe to it. And then when I go live, you'll be notified. So the next one will be on Facebook, Capricorn. Nice talking to y'all. Bye.